There's a great little gem of an application that comes with OS X called AU Lab. AU Lab is a free audio unit host, uh, virtual instrument host, that lets you load software instruments, target them with MIDI, uh, create all sorts of really great mixes using your existing hardware. So if you have a multi-channel interface, you can create um, surround mixes, and it's free. It doesn't come installed by default, but it is on your OS X installation disk, and as well, it's free from the Apple Developers Connection website, and you can download the version of AU Lab uh, that corresponds to your version of OS X. We're going to use AU Lab with PD so that we can host different instruments and target them with different MIDI channels and avoid using another host or a host that costs money like Pro Tools or Digital Performer or Racks um, and just take advantage of this really great piece of software that costs us nothing. So AU Lab is found after you've installed it, that is, from the Xcode tools. It's found under App um, Developer and then Applications, Audio, and you'll see AU Lab. Now again, you do have to install this off of the install disk. It doesn't come installed by default. Okay, so in AU Lab, you're given a, an output, and the output is set uh, using the default output of your system that you configure in the audio MIDI settings as well. You can access those settings within AU Lab. We're going to quickly create an instrument track by going to Edit, Add Audio Unit Instrument. Now we're prompted to add an instrument. We can target the instrument by MIDI input source. So if you've got a few different MIDI inputs, you can specifically assign one here. We'll say any MIDI controller because we're going to target the instrument by MIDI channel later. And then you choose instrument. Now your drop down here is going to be affected by what kinds of AU plugins or VSTs you've got on your machine. I've got a few. Um, and I'm going to choose my favorite, which is FM8. We give it a moment and choose OK. Now we get a new track and a window that has FM8. So this is now a shell for FM8 to run in. OK, so I can press keys and we'll hear pitches. And as well, I can use the FM8 window as I would in um, any other program or as I would standalone. So in later movies, we're going to target this with PD and do some really cool um, things. But what I want to show you in this particular movie is how to get to the MIDI backbone of this window. So if you go to the left or rightmost drop down and choose MIDI editor, then you'll get the MIDI details for this particular channel. So we can change the MIDI source, which we did earlier, we assigned it to any MIDI controller. But what's most important is under active channels, we can choose which channel this instrument is going to receive on. When we've been using FM8 as a standalone device, it receives on all channels. We can't use multiple channels with multiple sounds, and so it's been a bit of a problem. So we can choose what channel to receive on. So let's say channel 1. We can choose what kind of controllers it will be affected by. So if if we didn't want to accidentally send pitch bend, we can just choose not to accept any pitch bend information. And as well, when we get to higher level MIDI, uh, though these are grayed out, some instruments will allow you to select um, what kinds of higher level commands to send to them. Okay, when we're done, just hit the red X at the top, and now you see this strip, and we can choose to edit and delete it if we wanted. We could edit the group. Okay, we can give it a name, let's call it FM8. And if you want to get back to the window that has the FM8, just double click the icon. Okay, so when we come back, we'll take a look at sending um, sounds to AU Lab from PD. In PD, I'm going to create a really simple make note to send notes to AU Lab. So let's create make note with our favorite initialization parameters and note out. And what's important here now is we do need to include the channel argument. When we were using FM8 as a standalone, it really didn't care what channel we were receiving on so long as we sent notes out to the IAC driver, um, it would just take the notes. But now we actually have to target 
the FM8. So we know we're sending or we're receiving on the FM8 on channel 1, so we'll say note out 1. Now we'll connect the two together. Use, oh, let's not use that guy, we'll use this one. And create MIDI note 60. And there you go. We've got a note coming out of the FM8. So let's double click the FM8 in AU Lab and change the sound. Let's see, sounds. Uh, let's click the glass here. Choose our favorite clean organ. All right. And here we go. Okay, so now what we'll do is create another instrument in AU Lab. Click on AU Lab, edit, and let's do add audio unit instrument. Uh, let's see, let's load up another instance of the FM8 and choose OK. Okay, go back here and edit the group. And we'll call this FM8 number two, FM82. Okay, and now what we're going to do here is on this window, and make sure you check the title of the window so you're not accidentally editing the other FM8 window. Go to the rightmost dropdown and choose MIDI editor, and we'll choose channel two. Okay, and now let's choose a different sound, something that's markedly different. Yep, yeah, that's pretty different. Okay, now in PD, unlock the patcher, copy, paste. And if I were to perform this now, I would get notes on channel one. But as I change the channel argument, I get for channel two, the second FM8, and for channel one, the first FM8. And remember that you can dynamically change the channel argument using the rightmost inlet. So I'll create a number atom. And now I'll slide it up to two. And I should hear the guitar sound. Slide it down to one and hear the organ sound. And remember, as soon as you change that inlet, it changes for good. It will get rid of the, uh, the default argument. And so we've got now an ability to host multiple instruments in one location with this great little piece of software that's free. Some other things we can do is we can rely on AU Lab's internal effects bus to add some effects. So let's choose effect. Apple, these come, these Apple effects come default with OS X. Um, let's see, let's add a matrix reverb. And they're free folks, so the interface is going to be a little bit, um, uh, it'll leave a lot to be desired, but it works. So we'll choose the large, small mix, pump it way up, and this is on channel two, so you can hear how different that is. And it's nice because uh, we haven't gotten into any audio rate um, manipulation or any kind of audio um, objects in PD so you can do a lot of sophisticated things just using uh, MIDI control and this wonderful little application AU Lab.